In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Atari Lynx emulation up and running on the Wii U version of RetroArch. I find the Atari Lynx to be a truly fascinating handheld, and one that I wish had done a little bit better compared to the Game Boy. But of course, high prices and a limited game library just made it so that wasn't a possibility. The Game Boy was unmatched in price, and its library was phenomenal, so every handheld of the era unfortunately suffered pretty much the same fate of falling into obscurity. But thanks to emulation, Atari Lynx can live on in this day and age on a variety of devices, and that includes the Wii U, thanks to RetroArch. So today we're going to go ahead and get that set up. Let's dive in. So the first thing we're going to need to get Atari Lynx emulation up and running is of course Atari Lynx games. There are a variety of ways to get these. You can dump them from your own physical collection using a hardware dumper, which is the recommended method, but pretty tricky to be honest for Lynx. It's kind of hard. Or, of course, you can resort to the shady parts of the internet. I really don't care which way you do it, but once you have them sourced, we do need to put them onto our Wii U SD card. So, Atari Lynx games, and my Wii U SD card. So, I made a folder named RetroArch ROMs at the start of this uh, series of emulation tutorials, so that is where I'm putting all of my games that I am using for emulation purposes. So, I'm just going to drag my Atari Lynx games right in here. And once those have finished copying over, I'm just going to go back to the root of my SD card because there is one more file we need to place, and that is an Atari Lynx boot image. These can be tricky to get if you want to get it from your own Lynx. There are guides out there on how to do so. Otherwise, again, resort to the shady parts of the net just to make your life a little bit easier, I suppose. But as always, I don't have download links for these things, so please don't ask. Requests will be deleted. But once you have sourced your Lynx boot image, either through legal or shady methods, we can add this to our RetroArch system folder. So on Wii U, the system folder is in the folder named RetroArch. And then you go into the course folder. And there's the system folder. So now we'll just drag our Lynx boot image, and it does need to be named lynxboot.img, as you see right here. But we'll just drag that into the system folder, and we are good to go. So once you have those files placed, go ahead and close out of your SD card on the computer, take it out, put it back in your Wii U, and get it booted up. Now, just as a quick reminder, this guide is a continuation of my original RetroArch install videos, so refer back to that video for the initial install setup process, as well as installing a forwarder channel like you see here on my Wii U home screen. But now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get RetroArch booted up, either through the homebrew launcher or the forwarder channel. Now that RetroArch is booted, we are free to begin loading our Atari Lynx games. So to do this, we will go down to Load Core. We will choose our Atari Lynx Core, which is Beetle Lynx. And once the core has loaded, we can go down to Load Content, scroll to our SD card, and find the folder that we put our Atari Lynx games. So again, for me, it's in RetroArch ROMs and Atari Lynx. And then I can just press A on a game, select the core I want it to run in, and it will boot up. This method is really long-winded and slow though, so what I actually prefer to do instead is make a game's playlist. So go back out to the main menu, go to the left, and go down to Import Content. From here, do a manual scan. Content Directory, choose your Atari Lynx game folder. So again, mine's under SD Card, RetroArch ROMs, Atari Lynx, and you want to choose Scan This Directory. And now we're going to choose a system name, so this is Atari Lynx, so choose Atari Lynx. And then we're going to choose the default core, which is Atari Lynx Beetle Lynx, right here. If you have your Atari Lynx game separated in subfolders, make sure Scan Recursively is on. And if you have them zipped, make sure Scan Inside Archives is on. And once you have these options set the way you need them, you can start the scan. And once the scan is completed, you will have a new Atari Lynx playlist entry down here on the bottom left. So, there it is, and there's my Atari Lynx games. But with the playlist made, we could just press A on a game, and press A again to make it run. And there we go, Atari Lynx games up and running on a Nintendo Wii U. How freaking sweet is this? 
Especially with gamepad integration, like, this is so cool. But yes, Atari Lynx games on the Wii U run very well, and I just find it so absolutely fascinating. So for those of you looking to get Atari Lynx games up and running in the Wii U version of RetroArch, that's pretty much the process. You gotta source that uh, boot image, which is probably the hardest part. But once you do, you can get your games up and running and have a blast. But now let's go over some of the advanced core options available to us within Beetle Lynx. So pressing the home button on our Wii U gamepad, we can open up our RetroArch quick menu. And from here, we can scroll down to options. And there really isn't a whole lot that we need to do for Link Simulation. It's pretty much just plug and play, but the first option that we have is auto rotate screen. So you can leave this set to auto. The links can be played in a variety of positions, which is just kind of fascinating. But you can select if the screen can be rotated automatically depending on the game or if you want to do it manually. So if you do it manually, you just need to press the uh, select button and it will rotate the screen for you. It's pretty cool stuff. And then our next option is to change the color format. So by default, it is set to 16-bit. But we can change this up to 32-bit if desired. Now, to change the color format, you do need to restart the core. So just back out of your uh, options menu. And then you can go up to close content. And then we can just go back down to our playlist and reload the game. And there we go. Now we can play our Lynx game in 32-bit color. But that's going to cover it as far as core options are concerned. We only really have the two options needed, so not a whole lot to mess around with in here. Now, normally at this part of the video, I'd start talking about shaders, but Wii U RetroArch shaders are a bit strange to set up, so I'm going to make a dedicated video on how to do those once we finish the set of core videos, so stay tuned for that. But once you have everything saved the way you want, just save it as a core override, just to make sure that every time you load up an Atari Lynx game, these are the settings that are going to greet you. But that's going to cover it as far as Atari Lynx emulation is concerned. Get your games, get that boot image, put them onto your Wii U SD card, make the game playlist, and start playing. The core runs great on the Wii U, and you should be able to enjoy your library of Lynx games without any relative issues. But as always, thank you all so very much for watching today's tutorial. It means a lot to me that you guys help support the channel every time you watch one of these. Like, thank you so much. I hope they help out. But now if you could all do me a huge favor and be sure to hit that like or dislike button just depending on how much you like today's tutorial and if you haven't done so already be sure to hit that sub button so you can see when new videos just like this go live as well as things like reviews and other nonsense that I like to put out. Again really goes a long way to keeping the channel growing and I'm so grateful to all of you for that. If you're feeling particularly generous you could always hit that join button here on YouTube or check out that Patreon link in the bottom left hand corner of the screen as well. A little really goes a long way to keeping the place running, and I'm so grateful to everyone who has done so. Thank you so much, champions. You guys are amazing. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, stay awesome, and we will see you all back next video.